Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever. Today we are going to take on the fifth mission in the America campaign. On the coast of California, there's not only sun, sea, and beautiful people, but also a lot to do. Time to turn our gaze toward the stars. A lot has happened in aviation since the pioneers' first attempts. Air travel is no longer just an audacious experiment for daring men in flying boxes, but it also brings interesting prospects for serious businessmen. Sometime in the not-too-distant future, flying will be an everyday thing. People will just sit themselves down in an airplane as if it were a railroad car. All right. So, as you can see, I got a gold medal in this one. It is hard, but if you do the setup right, you'll be able to get the mission without any problems. Aviation Pioneer finished the mission before 1943. Not a problem. Got it done with about a year to spare. Own at least 20 planes at the end of the mission, not a problem as well. If you come up short, you can always buy a few extra planes. Mail Cartel, own the landing permissions for all airports. Groundskeeper, make sure that at least 12 terminals are built. And Industry, boom. Ensure that the number of industrial jobs in Los Angeles grows to 600. This is pretty much guaranteed to hit. I've never had it not hit, so let's jump into it. It is the year 1925, and aviation is making huge progress. Commercial aviation is still in its infancy, however, and is a loss-making operation. Unless you can get a hold of one of the coveted airmail licenses, that is, the government is looking for daring entrepreneurs to take care of the transportation of airmail. That's perfect for us. The American Airmail Network is divided into a range of route sections. Licenses are granted for each of these sections, and anyone can apply for them. Officially, the cheapest supplier is awarded the contract. Unofficially, contracts are granted based on roundtable negotiations between the Postal Authority and the country's biggest transport companies. And we just happen to be one of them. Time to conquer the air. All right. Five medals can be earned in this mission. Let's start. To obtain the airmail license for a route, we need to have permission to land at the departure and destination airports. To get this, it'll be necessary to do a favor for one person or another at the airports. Once we have landing permission for any two cities, our friend at the Postal Ministry will make sure that we receive the license for that route. It might not be entirely kosher, but it will have a very positive impact on our profit margin. All right, obtain takeoff and landing permissions from at least two airports, that is the goal. There is a total of five. We are here in California, Nevada, and Fe not Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> hey, I feel like I'm in uh, American Truck Simulator. Well, about that, mm, not really. <laughs> so we have Santa Barbara, we have Los Angeles, we have San Diego, we have Phoenix over here, and we have Las Vegas. This is apparently the Colorado River, I guess so. And this is the Grand Canyon. And we have Los Angeles. I guess this is Lake Mead. And uh, yeah. So over here there is going to be a dam that is going to be built. And we need to build it. So let's get started. Right now these airports are not available to us. But they can be. Anyway, let's take a look at Santa Barbara. A devastating earthquake has destroyed half of the city. Local businessmen are resorting to unusual means to finance the reconstruction. An illustrious circle gathers regularly on a ship cruising off the coast for a game of cards. We might be able to secure landing permission for the airport in Santa Barbara around the poker table. All right, find the poker ship off the coast of Santa Barbara. If we take a look out there, there it is. It's the only thing out here. Let's. This is where all the big names in California's growing economy gather. We won't get far with a handful of loose change. If we want to get our hands on the license, we'll have to go all in. All right, bet. And I really wish it would say like 5K or 500, 500M or uh, that is $5 million. Oh, better luck next time. As he won our entire stake, our poker partner has kindly allowed us to use his runway. How generous. All right, that one's the easiest one. You just pay $5 million for the uh, privilege of having an airport here. And now because reasons, we're gonna upgrade this for 338K. Just because. They'll come in useful since we have to 
Um, where is it? Make sure that at least 12 terminals are built. So we have three so far. Each come with one, so there are five terminals. You have to upgrade up to 12. Anyway, we are going to take a look at Los Angeles here. A bustling aircraft industry is growing around Los Angeles. Donald Wills Douglas and his Douglas Aircraft Company have settled in Long Beach. The Lockheed Aircraft Company in Hollywood. And the enterprising son of an industrialist, Howard Hughes, is tinkering on new models in a hangar in Burbank. If we supply the aircraft manufacturers with all the equipment they need, we'll be able to use the airport in Los Angeles. All right, so deliver machines to the industrial area of Los Angeles. Machines can be built here using iron and coal. And the machine factory is over here. This is a job for trucks, obviously. We get the coal and iron here. So we will be trucking this in. It doesn't make any sense at all to run a rail line just because that's just stupid. We have food over here, which we are going to connect up so that we can supply Santa Barbara with food, make some money on the side, as well as what I'll probably do I didn't do this in my last attempt, but I might build a port and ship food between the three cities. I could do a high-speed rail. That's a possibility. I'll have to think about it. Anyway, we have Los Angeles, we have Santa Barbara. Let's go down to San Diego. An ambitious airmail pilot named Charles Lindbergh has big plans. He wants to be the first person on Earth to fly across the Atlantic non-stop, an intention that we must support, of course. The aircraft for this endeavor is being constructed here. If we supply fuel for the test flights, the runway in San Diego will be available to us. All right, deliver fuel to the industrial area of San Diego. And yeah, 100 units of fuel. Fuel is produced here. We have a couple oil wells down here. I've done this a few ways. I've done this by ship, build a harbor and ship the crude oil down there. What I'll probably do, build a harbor here or possibly here and just truck in the oil and just have one shipping route. But yeah, just put as many ships on this line as possible. So we have to provide 100 units of fuel. Now this is the fun one. This is a whole lot of... Uh, you'll be able to get this one done pretty quickly. The new Grand Canyon National Park offers spectacular views and attracts more visitors with each passing year. The city of Phoenix acts as the starting point for the tourists' discovery tours. However, the journey to the National Park is still quite arduous, which puts many people off visiting. If we help to transport visitors to and from the Grand Canyon, the mayor of Phoenix will show his gratitude. All right, bring tourists to the observation platform at the Grand Canyon, which is not there. Anyway, the Grand Canyon is over here, and there is this observation platform here. We have to, of course, build a bus station here and build a road, because there's no road out here. So that's that task. And then we have Las Vegas. The village of Las Vegas is a sleepy little place, but that could all change if they get a handle on their water problem. Most of the time there isn't any, and when it does rain, everywhere is flooded instantly. An opportunity for President Hoover to boost his popularity ratings and to create a monument to himself. If we helped construct a reservoir dam on the Colorado River, we'll be richly rewarded with the landing permit for Las Vegas. All right, deliver construction material for the construction of the Hoover Dam. Now this first episode, it might be two episodes, will be a lot of setup. I probably won't be unpausing the game, so if you don't like that kind of thing, you might want to wait for the third episode of this mission, maybe the second one. But uh, we are going to start with Phoenix because it's the easiest. Anyway, we are going to go to road, small country road, and start here. And now, here's a question. If I were to start here, build a tunnel, $3 million just to get a straight stretch? Nah, no, no. We're going to do that. Over there. And 
we need to go in that direction. Go up over the hill. And the buses that we'll be using can more than handle this journey. So if it's a little bit of a roller coaster, it does not really matter. And this will be a very, very big money maker. All right, so what I'd like to do, we are going to have this go out this way. And yeah, if I can get it as straight as possible, that would be perfect. Now we are going to build a bus tram station. Um, 21K there. Do I want, oh, tram station. Multiple pass, although that's trams, no. Uh, do we want a large one or just a small one? Small one should be fine. And what I'm also going to do, we are going to put a station down here because we're going to need it for the airport. And I might as well do the same thing over here. I failed this one, or at least had problems with uh, this mission because I didn't properly set up the transportation to the airport. And we need... I really wish this menu wouldn't close when you put it down. Put that there. And actually... No, never mind. And put that there. Now. That's those. We are going to put another one right here. That's fine. Now, one thing I could do is set up a bus to go between Phoenix and... That's a possibility. Alright, so let's continue on building the road. There's a right there. Nope, we don't want a bridge. Just build in short stretches so it doesn't cost us too much. Okay, sure. Let's just finish it. Now, we need over here just a bus stop. And now that, we have that. Now Let's connect this road first. There we go. Yep, that should be fine. We got that. And we can actually get most of the coverage right here. Right there. Yep, everything's covered. Now, we need a depot. No, nope. we want it cheap. 
Now, by road vehicles, we are going to use the Snyders. Let's set up three. New line. We're going to start here. Come all the way out to here. We are then going to come over here, over here, and then over here. Before returning back here, this is going to be bus Grand Canyon RT1. And then we are going to buy another three new line from here over to here there and then all the way down to here both these routes will do insanely profitable uh, Grand Canyon RT2 so pretty much we just have to wait, that'll take care of itself. And now let's start on the oil. Now, what's the easiest way to do this? Want passenger or no? Cargo harbor. Now. One of the problems with the docks is that the ships come in from the side. If I were to put this over here what would happen is that the ships would have to come this way turn around and come in so when you set up a route like this what you want to do is have it so that they come in and then leave so yeah and I am going to is there any way to no nah. so yeah I'm gonna have to truck it in regardless that's fine uh, docks outside navigable waters. Sure, that's fine. And yet, one of the things with uh, the docks are that they are a little oversized for rivers in this game. Anyway, we are going to also build a dock. We're going to throw it right here. And now we are going to want to connect this up. Now uh, let's save a little bit of money. There. To there. And now. one fine now we want truck stop yep yeah, nope can I find it cheaper 20 yep that's within range oh wow expensive How's the terrain here? Uh, can I get this right in here? Construction's not possible. I don't think there's going to be anywhere that I will be able to get a good price, so we are just going to Trolls. <laughs> you know what? I think there's going to be fine. And just because reasons. Yep. Yep, that's good. 
All right, so that is connected. Now we want another one right over here. And this one's gonna be cheap. All right, so I'm going to lay down a truck stop or truck depot. We are going to buy some Mac ACs. Let's go three, new line from here down to here. This is going to be RF Phoenix. Uh, yeah, crude. RT one. Nah, RT is for buses. Number one. And then we are going to buy a couple of these. We are going to new line from here over to here. And yeah, I really want to saturate the oil. This is why I'm doing it this way. And RF Phoenix crude number two. All right, so I'm not going to do anything. I don't care about this distance. They can just drive back and forth for all I care. All right, so we are gonna hop over here and this can be trouble to build on. <laughs> uh, we are going to lay down a freight station and unfortunately we have to have the Nah, nah. That'd be crazy expensive. Ideally, I'd want to have it over here. So that they just come in straight out, but no, never mind. Uh, it's going to cost me... Two hundred and thirty. Now, this is going to be the tricky part because, of course, this down to this is too much slope. <laughs> yeah, I'll be with that. So, I'm going to have to. I don't think there's going to be any way I'm going to be able to avoid this. Uh. Nope. All right. Just go like that. much curvature no there's not too much curvature we don't actually have to have vehicles drive up this we just need a connection like that Yep, I don't want to be the trucker <laughs> who has to haul that. Anyway, we are going to have to create a, put a dock in. Oh, that's a lot of money. Any way to save? Now, uh, over here, no. Let's just go with that. And now we are going to buy a Klondike. It carries 100 capacity, which is what we need, 100 construction materials. We could go with a Frontenac 75, but nope. 
This can only carry crude oil, oil and fuel. And that can carry passengers. That's only 50. No, nope, we want this. 472,000. This is the only time I've ever used ships. New line, we need to go from here over to here, but we're going to have to build it first. So, all right, so we can actually have the docks. I think I had it over here. Is there a good spot? 270, Ooh. right there. And now, there we go. That's a little bit easier. And to confirm that is within range, so then that will be able to line one add station right here now set for ship freight las vegas uh this stone And now we are going to want to drop a freight station, truck station. Uh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to throw it up here. And now. Yep, that works. And just to make sure, yep, within range. And we need road. That works. Now we're going to need a truck station here. Doesn't really matter. Right there's fine. And now you're going to also want to have a vehicle. Might as well throw the vehicle down here. Buy road vehicles. We're going to buy a Mac and we are going to go new line from here over to here. And this is going to be RF Las Vegas construction materials or CONMAT for short. Eventually I'm going to want to extend that route into Las Vegas and as well the construction materials factory here can take slag as well. What I'm planning to do down here at the steel mill, it produces slag with two steel or one steel. What I am going to be doing is sending uh, iron and coal down here and then I'll be taking slag back up and then just bringing the slag back here. In addition, depending on if I get it set up, if this starts producing a lot of machines, 
I will be hauling machines back here and also trying to haul the machines up here as well to supply Las Vegas. Which I might as well... No, we'll do that in the next episode. We got this set up. We got this set up. We purchased Santa Barbara. So we just have to set up Los Angeles and San Diego. Or actually, we set up part of San Diego. And it's just a matter of putting up another dock here. Getting this connected. And, uh, but, uh, yeah. In keeping with a two-episode set up for this mission because we're going to need a lot of money because there's going to be things happening lots of fun things but uh you'll have to come back next time to find out thank you for joining me for this episode of transport fever thank you for watching my name is scott for sb gaming and as always have a good day